Hi, I'm Sarah Bramwell, the editor of fundoperator.com, and I'm here with Evan Fire, Managing Principal, Chief Operating Officer at Pazina Investment Management. Evan is speaking at our Fund Operator Summit North America on May 18th, and ahead of that, we wanted to catch up with him just to get a little bit of a flavour of what he's going to be talking about. Hi, Evan. Hi, how are you? I'm good, thank you. Thank you for joining me. My pleasure. So my first question is, how is the office environment changing in the fund management industry and what have been some of the key drivers of that change? Yeah, it's a good question. Um, you know, obviously the pandemic has opened our eyes to the work from anywhere possibility. Um, our success as an industry uh, to survive in this environment may have altered for some uh, the traditional concept of an office environment. Uh, it may have also changed the need for business travel to some degree. Uh, because of the successful adoption of video conferencing coupled with ESG trends, maybe we'll see less business travel overall. Um, maybe uh, we should expect to see more of our salespeople and client service personnel in the office. Uh, and then finally, I think the changes that we're seeing in the DEI movement should make the office a more diverse and inclusive environment, which I think is a good thing. Absolutely. And why do you think that fund managers need to pay attention to these changes? And, and what are some of the impacts that they're having and, can continue, and could continue to have on the industry as a whole? Yeah, so, so to answer this, I wanna focus specifically on why we need to pay attention to our office environment in a post-pandemic world. Um, it's complicated. Changes could permanently alter the way we work and how we operate. There's a war for talent, wages are going up, the work from anywhere options are changing the recruiting world. For example, a company in California who now offers remote work can hire a person in New York. And that changes the competition for talent for a firm like ours based in New York. Uh, employee retention is more complicated. Leaders need to strike a balance uh, between what's in the best interest of the business versus individual desires that may be at competition. And it's really, really hard to thread that needle. For us, uh, we're people business. We need to be, be together more. Uh, being together makes us stronger. It helps us develop talent faster and more effectively, ultimately becoming the best version of ourselves. But we do have to figure out how flexibility fits into the operating model of the future. Of course. And, you know, what do you think are some of the key steps that fund operators can or perhaps should be taking right now to prepare for that changing world of work that you described and that war for talent? Yeah, look, I'm gonna be honest here. I, I don't think we have all the right answers. Um, it's, it's going to take time to see where the industry normalizes. I do know that we have created a very special environment at Pazina, and that is a key ingredient to answering your question. Uh, the past two years have definitely solidified something for me, and uh, that's you probably can't please everyone. Uh, we've asked for patience as we experiment with our return to office plans. Um, we are trying things on for size, so to speak, before we set our policies. Uh, we hope that time will ultimately help people realize that being together is great for us individually and collectively. Great stuff. And then lastly, you know, why do you feel like fund management representatives should come to forums like the one that we're going to be at together and, and discuss topics like these? Yeah, in my humble opinion, uh, we face many similar challenges. Uh, having a network and a place where we can discuss things helps us solve problems faster and more effectively. And we, to be honest, need more of these opportunities to discuss, debate, and to share so that we can all succeed. And I think it's as simple as that. And so I, I welcome the opportunity to participate. Great, thank you so much. I completely agree and I can't wait to kind of discuss and debate and hear more of these ideas and see what people, what everybody is up to um, at the summit in May. Thank you. All right, thank you for having me and I look forward to seeing you.